Hey everybody. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm praying as we all are praying for the people that are involved in these fires in Maui and uh, Washington, British Columbia, up there in Canada, all over Canada, fires happening across the United States. Um, it's just devastation, just absolute devastation, tragedy. Uh, and I pray for these people, their families, the people that uh, have lost their lives and their families. I pray for their families. It's just uh, horrific. They've, they've lost everything. A lot of these people have lost everything. Every single thing that they had. And many of them will not collect much from insurance, if any. So they are de definitely having to start their life totally over. They've lost their jobs because right there in Maui, they worked there, they lived there. Anywho, I, I, because of these fires that are going on, and it's been going on ever since late spring um, across Canada, and a few other places through the summer in uh, the United States, but it's uh, it actually pick, picked up in the last uh, week or two here in the United States. And um, I was going to make a short video on it, but I'm thinking, no, this is going to take a lot longer than a minute. Um, these, these fires happen all the time. Every single year we hear of devastation with the fires but this particular year has been a lot more um, active especially in Canada all the way from the west part of Canada to the east part of Canada from the north northern territories to the border of Canada and I just find it odd that the states that are just below where they were having fires uh, all the way almost to the border and with the high winds and everything, uh, we were spared here in the United States just across the border with those fires starting until now this fire has spread. I don't know how it spread. Uh, or what caused it in Alaska. Alaska is getting more active with fires. And also uh, in the Spokane area, they've had um, some bad fires there. And then, of course, right down there in the city of, uh, uh, what is it? It's, it's there in British Columbia by the border. Can't think of it now. But they had to evacuate and put on alert 30,000 people, so the news said. Now, I cannot say anything that's going to trigger um, this platform because they're all about quote-unquote truth, their truth. So... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say one way or another you know their science is different from other science and they have put up a new rule now about medical um, misinformation <clears throat> getting a crackdown on that um, if you don't follow the government's guidelines and their truth and you're all for the alternative methods of treatments and etc then you will be deplatformed or punished or whatever so again we have to be politically correct uh, medically correct uh, scientifically correct in their eyes okay but I'm going to show you articles that are from the left, 
nothing from the right, from the left. And you determine in your mind what you think and what's going on. Here's an article that is from National Geographic. Okay? National Geographic. Oops. Uh, nuts. Uh, let's just kind of see if I can't. How extreme fire weather can cool the planet. And this was published in August 6, 2021. It's a seven minute read. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Uh, you can look this up yourself. It's nationalgeographic.com, environment. It's an environment article. But it says, and I'll just read a little bit. Extreme heat often brings extreme wildfires, and this year is no exception. With unprecedented heat waves fueling enormous outbreaks of fires in the western United States and Canada, as well as across the Mediterranean and in, in Siberia. Periodically, the most intense wildfires can have the opposite effect on temperatures, cooling Earth's surface both regionally and globally. Now, the idea, and I am not a scientist, I'm not saying one way or another, I'm just repeating of what I've read, and that is the smoke from the fire, especially when they're huge, huge, huge fires, a lot of fires going on, when the smoke was up in the atmosphere, it will block the sun depending on how much of the smoke. We know this from also uh, volcanic ash. It'll block the sun. And we know from history uh, accounts and articles and videos um, that uh, volcanoes have created, there was a, what was it? Oh, I think it was the first uh, century um, there was uh, blocking out the sun so severely that these people in the 900s uh, wrote about it. There was a year of the sun being totally black, blacked out, um, or at least filtered pretty good. And they could, the scientists proved this also by the growth of the trees um, you know, they see within the rings of the trees, blah, 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 that it was a very, very slow, slow, slow year for uh, the growth of, of trees. So, um, we know that that smoke can block out some of the sun or at least a portion of the amount of the sun the sun rays, etc., you know, uh, that hits Earth. So this uh, cools down the planet, and it says here, causing regional temperatures to drop by several degrees. Now, I found another um, thing on U YouTube here, uh, interesting uh, video block the sun to save the planet and this was posted one month ago and it is by first post okay first post America wants to block the sun let's see America wants to block the sun is US playing with fire and that's a vantage with Halki Sharma and they talk about what's going on with uh, the fires, um, Biden administration wants to study altering sunlight. Now, I, I heard him myself say um, that he wanted to block the sun. I heard him on, on a video say that he wants to block the sun. This is their reasoning 
to cool down global warming, climate change, whatever you want to call it. Because scientists, their scientists, believe that the Earth continues to go through climate warming, change, whatever you want to call it. And we have been experiencing this, I guess, since the 70s, early 80s. Um, we have heard from AOC, Alexandria Cortez, uh, that we don't do something, we'll be dead in 10 years. We have heard Al Gore say this many, many times throughout the years that we would be dead in, in just a matter of years. And uh, here we are. So they want to eliminate all carbon dioxide uh, footprints carbon footprints, they call it, because carbon, bad, 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 bad. And um, they want to get rid of it along with, uh, and the way that they plan to do this is mainly to get rid of the farm animals like cows because cow, cows fart and belch too much. And that would have to include other animals because all animals fart and belch. You know, sheep, dogs, cats, tigers, you know, horses, uh, buffalo, everything. All these animals belch and fart. And I dare say, don't human beings fart and belch too? Just saying. So if you want zero carbon emissions, it would take a lot of work. And they've got a lot of plans, I'm sure. They've got tons of plans. There's another video that I want you to see, and it's put out by Nova on PBS. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, should have had this set up. PBS Nova. Can we cool the planet? Okay. Can we cool the planet? It's a 53 minute um, video. But it would be worth your while to take, take a look at what they are saying. Now, Nova is, uh, you know, supposed to be a re respected, um, you know, publishing uh, video, movies, documentary type of company. So we've got to believe it, right? Okay, let me see where we can go here. Let's see. Edge Solutions. It's going to be revolutionary. It's like science fiction. There's the balloon up there. And high-risk measures. I really hope we'll never have to do this. It's really important that humanity they got something has a planned. backstop. In a race to discover, can we cool the planet? Right now, on Nova. They got something planned. This was put out uh, two years ago. time in the Earth's history in which we are not just inhabiting our planet, we're operating as stewards of the very thing that we're living on. Since the Industrial Revolution, humanity has been running an unintentional experiment in Earth's atmosphere, pushing the climate to new extremes. Things are going to get hot. Oh, you can feel the heat. This is insane. Oh, my God. 
attitudes have changed rapidly because everyone can see for themselves the climate change that is occurring. Okay, I'm going to stop right there and you can watch the video yourself. I want to mention that all through Earth's history, Earth has had um, extreme weather changes. There have been times, many times, many cycles that Earth has experienced uh, tropical weather. Um, there has been uh, proof of this even in the Antarctic. Um, I do recall reading an article several, several years ago about how, I believe it was Indiana, uh, they found in Indiana a tropical forest, ancient, ancient tropical forest beneath all the layers of ground that they, they had dug into. Uh, when we think of the dinosaurs, dinosaurs lived in tropical areas and arid areas. So this earth was plenty warm with all the volcanoes. You see pictures of volcanoes and we've got, there used to be a volcano in uh, Portland, Oregon that blew itself out many, many, many years ago. Um, Earth has always been changing, always. Uh, the most stable time of this planet has been when humans have lived on this planet. Prior to that, it was pretty a pretty violent place to live. And when humans, uh, you know, started occupying and 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 living around different places on the earth um, it, it was not as violent although however it was violent but not as violent as it was prior they have experienced just as we experience now hurricanes earthquakes uh, volcanic eruptions um, mudslides floods tornadoes um, hail, uh, all kinds of, of things um, related to weather and climate change. There, were, there was the Ice Age and then there was the Little Ice Age. The Little Ice Age when humans were challenged with um, surviving. Uh, because there was famine, they couldn't nourish themselves like they should and keep up their immune systems because they couldn't plant very many things. Uh, they had less amount of time to grow whatever produce that they were growing to survive because it was so cold, so utterly cold, a little ice age and that happened in the time frame of human beings not that long ago. There has been heat and there has been cold all through the time of the planet Earth. And you have to make your own decisions on, on what's going on with today's fires. It is said in the news that the fires are being caused by wind. Well, it can't really be caused by wind because you have to have a flame and it's the wind that stokes the fire. Um, you have to have a beginning point of a, a spark. It could be lightning. It can be a downed power line. It could be uh, underground uh, lava that's coming up close to the, 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 
the top of the soil, uh, burning uh, trees or leaves or whatever. Um, it can be started by uh, human hands, uh, chemicals that can uh, combust. So there's various, I mean, even laser, laser lights, certain lasers, or even the sun beating down on the earth in the summer and it strikes something that's really bright, like a shiny rock that acts like a magnifying glass and it can spark a fire. So there's plenty of uh, different uh, scenarios in which a fire um, can start. And also the care of, of uh, forests within um, city, city limits um, and counties that are not taking care of the underbrush and stuff like this that need to be uh, cleaned out a bit so it's not so prone to a uh, hor horrific fire. And then of course uh, other other reasons why, why uh, there's fires in the forests and stuff is um, of course the dryness, the lack of rain, moisture. Canada has a lot of lakes. Did you know that Canada has the mo more lakes than any other country in the whole world. They are they have lakes everywhere you turn. There there's lakes. You're gonna find a lake. Um, it is uh, has a lot lot of bodies of water in in Canada. Just uh, food for thought there. But um, we're seeing now some some questionable, or should I say interesting, or should I say odd, because we don't want to think for ourselves, right? Um, some odd things going on with fires. Uh, this, this particular summer. Not that, you know, fires happen. They, they happen every single year. Every single year they happen. And it's, it's always bad. It always takes time to, to deal with these fires. Um, it's hard to get these fires uh, put out. And um, It's tough for these firefighters, and, and you got to find the, the people who are willing to do it. A lot of these people are volunteers, and a lot of them are volunteers from uh, different countries. They come from all over the world, and, and the same goes for us with other countries. We'll send people over throughout the world to fight their fires, too. We kind of help each other because we know we, know, we understand that it is... Uh, extremely difficult very dangerous and very difficult and we've lost you know lost lives of uh, people fighting the fires so but these are interesting articles uh, it's just putting putting articles out there and th these these articles are from the left this isn't from the right Okay, these are from the left. This is PBS and um, National Geographic, and they're, they all believe deeply in global warming, climate change stuff. So this isn't something that, uh, that is controversial with them. This is their science. This is their reasoning. This is their subject. 
So anyways, go to these places uh, and read for yourself, watch for yourself. Um, even look up uh, Biden uh, saying we should, well, let me see if I can do that here. Biden wants to lock the sun. I'm trying to type with one hand here. Okay, this was a month ago, and I'm just, White House reportedly open to blocking the sun in fight against climate change, okay? Uh, and now they're, let's see, why, let's see, this is from W-I-O-N, why is the White House pushing to block sunlight from reaching the earth? India. America wants to block the sun. Is it possible? Here's from the sun. President Biden says U.S. allies not involved in... Uh, oh, that's not it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, he, he said it. I heard it. I just don't know where. I, I don't want to use uh, Fox. I want to use... Um, a, you know, a left organization because I don't want to be you know um, spewing out misinformation you know ooh that would be really bad 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 but anyways so there you have it uh, you know check out check out PBS what they say on Nova the Nova on PBS um, you gotta watch it. It's pretty interesting. You know, prepare your mind for what's, excuse me, coming. Prepare your mind for what's coming because they, they have, they have things planned. They have lots and lots of great ideas. Great ideas, guys. It's just great ideas, you know, great Great, fantastic. I don't know, you know, in, in science class, um, and I took, I took a lot of science classes, you know, several science classes for, in nursing school and, um, and also junior high and high school. And uh, I do believe we need a certain element combined with a certain element like oxygen to be able to um, sustain life. You know? And then have the plants grow and, and all that kind of stuff. But there's my deal for today. I just wanted to share some of these sites with you. There's no way I could have fit all that in one minute. Um, although I might do a short on it. I'm not sure if I can. I'd have to really speak fast. Anyways, take care. Do your homework. Heads up. Be aware. And I'm out. <laughs>